Hello, welcome to a brand new TG-66 helicopter. TG-66 helicopter has many features like all other helicopters in real life. Like all trainer aircraft, it is common use to train pilots around the world because of its complexity and richness of details. The weather today is perfect for our first lesson. First, we need to do a pre-start check in the aircraft. We are going to start the engine and do a takeoff. First we need to close the helicopter door. If you open the door during the flight the helicopter will lose lift and an accident can happen. Be careful to always check if your door is closed. Good. Now, set fuel pump flow to a full position. Reach it with your hand and do a full turn on the knob. Let's use the headset for our communication. When the engine starts to run, it will be too loud for you to hear me. Put the headset in your head now. Perfect. Now notice the panel in front of you. We need to start the master battery and alternator. They will provide all electric support for the helicopter. The alternator will convert the engine torque energy into electricity and it is crucial to let it on to avoid lacks of power that can be dangerous for our flight. Switch master battery to on now. Switch the alternator to on now. Perfect. We are ready to start up the helicopter. This noise you are hearing is the power being supplied to all components. Turn key to both start now. Do not worry. You are going to hear motor noise that represents the starting success of the engine. See that rotor RPM is increasing. The goal is to start our flight when the rotor is above 100%. So. As you can see, the engine needs more efficiency. To reach 100% RPM, we need the clutch. A clutch allows the engine to be started and then gradually pick up the load of the rotor. It is mandatory to wait for the clutch to engage. Let's turn clutch on now. When clutch's light is off, we are good to go. that your RPM is above the necessary. We are in perfect condition to start climbing. TG-66 has more features like flares and ropes. We will learn that later. Close to your right hand, there is a joystick. It will move the helicopter in the 3D space. Move left, right, up and down, and rotate your hand to control your aircraft. In real life, we use our feet to yaw, using the helicopter pedals. But in VR we need to be creative. You can also yaw using your joystick. On your left side, there is a lever stick that will give you the control of altitude and attitude of your aircraft. Gently pull the lever up when you are ready. All helicopters turn a bit to the right. That is the inertia of the rotor. So, if you lean your hand a bit to the left you can stabilize your flight. That's it. Try flying around and do some landings before you try out the mission. All pilots train hours to have full control of this incredible machine. 